So this should surprise no one, especially if you've been, well, watching my videos for at least the past, what, how long have we been talking about Brexit now? Three years nearly? What have we been constantly warning about that the main aim of the hard Brexiteers is, is they want to get rid of all these regulations because they believe that these regulations are somehow holding Britain back. The other reason is because without these regulations, well, their friends might be able to make from a boatload of cash, two boatloads of cash. That's essentially the reason why they want to get rid of these, shall we say, pesky regulations. So this basically surprises no one in that MPs warn post-Brexit environmental plans fall woefully short. Proposals to replace the EU's strong environmental protections after Brexit fall woefully short. Hmm. <laughs> According to a highly critical report from a cross-party committee of MPs. So this just isn't from, like, the Labour Party or an outside group. This is from a cross-party committee of MPs. So, <laughs> because as we've said before, there is a one of the big splits in this Tory party is all about regulation. And one part, not surprisingly, the people who want Brexit want to get rid of regulations completely. And the other part, no regulations are good. And they argue, you know, how little and how much regulations there should be in place. But they do agree that there should be some form of regulation. So, the Environmental Secretary Michael Grove said in December that the UK's environmental standards would be enhanced after Brexit. But the MP's report says that proposals severely downgrade the environmental principles that underpin current EU rules. It said that the new Office for Environmental Protection, or OPEC, or OP, I think that's it, yeah, OP, <coughs> proposed as a replacement for the EU's enforcement mechanics, lacks independence from the government's office and has limited powers. The report from the Environmental Audit Committee also criticises the planned exclusions from environmental rules which one expert caused obs absurd. So, just to cover, reiterate that, there are exclusions for environmental rules. Yep. <laughs> Most of the laws that protects the EU, the, sorry, the E, the E, there, the, e, the UK's air and water from pollution and its nature from being, uh, from destruction come from the EU. Uh, these allow the government to be sued and fined if the laws are broken. For example, ministers have lost three times in court over I illegal levels of dirty air. Uh, Mary, uh, Mary Craig the chair of the uh, EAC said, if we wanted a world leader in environmental protection, we need a world leading body to protect it. The government promised to create a new body that would go beyond the, f beyond the standards set by the EU. The bill so far falls woefully short of this vision. The draft bill means that if we leave the EU, we will have weaker environmental print protection principles, less monitoring, and weaker enforcement, and with no threat of fines to force the government to act. The MP said, urgent action is needed to plug gaps in environmental protection post-Brexit. The report said that OP must be independent and free to criticise the government and hold it to account, but Evidence from the National Audit Office said that OP's independence was at risk because it would be funded by the Department for Food, Environment and Ruler Affairs, or DEFRA. And its chair would be appointed by the Environment Secretary. So, currently, as being members of the EU, we are part of several bodies, like and we have an environmental body. Now, here's the thing. This is, this is something else uh, that I want to get at. Because we are part of the EU, we don't fully pay. We are like groups paying into one organisation. So it is cheaper for us to have this really good environmental protection body that is cheaper than the one we are about to set up. And the one we are about to set up has weaker standards. 
which I have been telling people constantly, this is one of the things that Brexit is going to do. It's going to weaken our uh, environmental standards, health standards, trading standards, you know, worker rights. The environment is just the beginning. So don't think that this isn't going to affect everything else once we leave, because it is. And as I've said many times, we are going to have to fight if Brexit happens. If we do, you know, do post-Brexit, we are going to have to fight for so much because we stand to lose so much from leaving the European Union. And I don't think people quite understand the amount of protections and rights that we stand to lose when we leave the EU. Oh, here we are, yep. Yeah. So... The environmental principles which guide and inform EU legislation and policy have been severely downgraded by the proposals in the bill, the report said. They are also subject to a number of exclusions and to the veto of the Secretary of State. So this is hardly an independent body, and if this body, well, criticises the government, or let's say this company has been found polluting, they must be charged, well then the Secretary of State might go, sorry, I'm going to veto that decision. That is hardly an independent body that is going to, shall we say, have the teeth to be able to protect our environmental standards. And by the way, as a side note, it's worth going on there, um, the current... Um, European Environmental Agency's website and having a look at all the stuff they've done in the UK, the bodies that they have, uh, the companies that they've found, and stuff they've done to help improve the environment. It's well worth a look. Um, the exclusions include policies relating to taxation, the armed forces, which are large landowners, and any other matter. Speci uh, specified in regulations made by the Secretary of State. William Wilson, a barrister and environmental lawyer, told the uh, EAC the exclusions are, are completely absurd. Taxation is, an import is important in the, in the embedding the <coughs> polluter pays principle across government and preventing environmental harm, said Emma Hovind. Boyard the chair of the uh, environmental um, agency, in her evidence to the EAC. The report also found the enforcement of cuts in carbon emissions to fight climate change has been deliberately excluded from the scope of the OEP. The emission, um, the emission Craig calls shocking. The enforcement by the OEP is also limited to whether rules were followed, well, not whether... Environmental targets have been met, said MPs, weakening the power currently held by the European Commission. The Guardian has requested a response from DEFRA on Tuesday, and Grove attended a speech to MPs given by uh, Great Thunberg, the Swedish teenager whose solo school strike for climate change action has inspired a global movement. Grove said, your voice, still calm and clear, is like the voice of our conscience. And when I listened to you, I felt great admiration and also responsibility and guilt. I am of your parents' generation, and I recognise that we haven't done nearly enough to address climate change and the broader environmental crisis that we've helped to create. And yet, here you have a guy who is currently creating a new um, environmental agency that is supposed to be according to him, better than the one we have currently with the EU, but apparently it's done a far worse job. That is the worst, worst thing possible. And I just want to reiterate this again, and again, and again on this channel. I have said, even in this video, just a few moments ago, when Brexit happened, again, if it happens, who knows what's going to happen? It's, you know, Brexit has gone, you know, it's been a complete roller coaster ride, not knowing where anyone the hell is going to stop. So, I will say this again. If we leave the EU, 
we will lose so much and this is a perfect example Grove said he would establish a organization that is independent from the government and has much stronger uh, uh, capabilities to be able to defend and uh, protect the UK's environment. But here you have him sending from an organization that has absolutely no teeth and has excluded and has the potential to exclude organizations that, you know, pollute. You know, that is not what I call a strong and better organization than the ones we currently have. And as I said moments ago, this is but the start. Expect more of these to probably start popping up, especially after Brexit. Because all these Brexiteers who said that we are going to be somehow better off, I hope... I hope that you will actually join us in these protests and movements to try and help keep us, or even better, our standards. Because by the looks of it, you don't even care. 